good day all welcome to my channel quick tech master mariner do like the video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon in this video we will discuss gas instrument gx8000 basic information calibration and maintenance procedure so let's begin introduction to ensure safe operation all instruments must be used in compliance with the conditions of certification, relevant standards and code of practice. It is very important to study the instrument's instruction manual. Even though it's not necessary, we recommend that you have the instruments and all relevant accessories in front of you during this part of the courseware. Remark. Always let the instrument warm up for one to two minutes before performing measurements or calibration. General information. To ensure safe operation, the instrument must be used in compliance with the conditions of certification, relevant standards, and code of practice. It is extremely important to study the instrument's instruction manual. Rikin GX8000 is used for measuring hydrocarbon gases, oxygen, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen sulfide in air or in inert atmosphere. The hydrocarbon, oxygen, CO and H2S content are indicated directly on the display after suitable zero and span adjustments. The ranges for hydrocarbons are from 0% LEL up to 100% by volume and the instrument automatically switches between the scales. For oxygen, the range is from 0 to 25% by volume. The range for CO is from 0 to 500 ppm and H2S is from 0 to 100 ppm. For the remainder of this tutorial, GX8000A will be described and users of other models can skip certain parts. The GX8000 is powered by a rechargeable battery located in the bottom of the instrument. Preparation. To turn the instrument on, press and hold power until you hear a beep. The instrument will go through a self-check to control batteries, sensors, etc. Once finished with the startup sequence, you hear a double beep and the instrument display shall show 0% LEL, 20.9% oxygen, 0 ppm CO and 0, 0.0 ppm H2S when in fresh air. If this is not the case, bring the instrument to fresh air and do a fresh air calibration. Press and hold the air key until the display shows air cal. Then adjust and hold air. Then adjust and release. Release the air key and the instrument starts counting down from 30. Once finished, the display shall show 0% LEL, 20.9% oxygen, 0 ppm CO and 0, 0.0 ppm H2S. Verify that the pump is working properly by blocking the inlet with your finger. The pump shall stop and the alarm will go off. Turn the pump back on by pressing the reset key. If the pump does not stop as described above, please check for leaks. To turn off the instrument, press and hold power for about 3 seconds until the instrument is off. Operation Prepare and zero adjust the instrument according to preparation procedures and bring it to the working area. Connect the sampling hose to the inlet on the filter tube and allow fresh air to be drawn through the sampling hose for about one to two minutes. 
This will remove any old gas vapors from the hose. If the instrument gives a reading with the hose connected, it is most likely that the hose is contaminated. The hose must then be replaced with a clean one. When you are finished measuring, remove the sampling hose from the test area and allow fresh air to be drawn through the instrument for one till two minutes. Turn off the instrument and bring it back to its proper place in the storage cabinet. Make a record in the usage log of how long the instrument was used and if there were any special remarks. Remember to sign the log. The instrument must from time to time be calibrated against the known concentration of gas. The recommended maximum interval for calibration is six months. The recommended calibration gases are 50% LEL butane for the percent LEL scale, 8% volume butane in CO2 and nitrogen for the percent volume scale, pure nitrogen for the oxygen scale, and 25 ppm H2S for the H2S scale. Other concentrations can be used, but the above gases are the used gases in this example. Calibration. Turn the instrument on and do a fresh air calibration if necessary. To enter calibration mode, press and hold down reset, then press display. The display will show air cal. Zero calibration, percent volume. Press air once and vol zcal is displayed. This function is to zero calibrate the percent volume sensor with an inert gas similar to the one used in the cargo tanks. The most common gas is exhaust or flue gas. Fill a gas bag with inert gas, either from a sampling point on the inert gas line or from a gas bottle. Connect the gas bag to the inlet and press enter. Vol Zcal will start blinking and the values for percent volume and oxygen are displayed. Once these have stabilized completely, press enter. This special zero calibration is now finished. Press air twice until you hear two beeps and one cal is displayed. Calibration percent LEL. When one cal is displayed, press enter to enter the calibration screen and the value for percent LEL is displayed as three small bold lines. Fill a gas bag with butane 50% LEL or similar calibration gas. Connect it into the inlet and press enter. Wait for the readings to completely stabilize. If the displayed value is different from the calibration gas, adjust the reading by pressing either the air or reset buttons until the value matches the content of the gas. In this example, the value needs to be increased from 45% LEL to 50% LEL. Once finished, press enter and end will be displayed briefly, followed by the calibration screen. Remove the gas bag. Calibration percent volume. With percent LEL displayed in the calibration screen, press air once and percent volume is displayed in the upper right hand corner. Fill a gas bag with 8% butane in inert gas. Connect the gas bag to the gas inlet and press enter to confirm. 
Wait until the value in the display stabilizes completely. If the displayed value is different from the percent volume of the calibration gas, adjust the reading by pressing either the air or reset button until the value matches the percent volume of the gas. In this example, the value needs to be increased from 7% volume to 8% volume. Once finished, press Enter and End will be displayed briefly, followed by the calibration screen. Remove the gas bag. Calibration Oxygen With percent volume displayed in the calibration screen, press air once and the value for oxygen is displayed as three small bold lines. Fill a gas bag with pure nitrogen and connect the gas bag to the inlet and press enter to confirm. Wait until the value in the display stabilizes completely. If the displayed value is different from the value of the calibration gas, adjust the reading by pressing either the air or reset buttons until the readings matches the values of the gas. In this example, the value needs to be decreased from 2.1% to 0.0%. Once finished, press Enter and End will be displayed briefly, followed by the calibration screen. Remove the gas bag. Calibration H2S and CO From the oxygen calibration screen, press air once and the value for H2S will be displayed as three small lines. Use 25 ppm H2S in nitrogen or multimix calibration gas and repeat the procedure as for the oxygen calibration. For CO, use 50 ppm CO in air or multimix calibration gas. Once finished with the CO sensor, press air once and escape is displayed. Press enter once to return to the main menu and one cal is displayed. Press air twice and normal is displayed. Press enter to return to normal operation. Calibration must be recorded in the instrument log. Maintenance Sensor replacement the GX8000 can have up to five sensors, two for hydrocarbon gases and one for oxygen, H2S and CO. The oxygen, H2S and CO sensors have a life of about 24 months, depending on temperature, humidity, contamination, use, etc. For safety and logistics reasons, it is recommended to change the sensors every 20 months. The hydrocarbon sensors can last longer and it is recommended to keep one of each as spares. Loosen the four screws and remove the sensor cover. Carefully remove the rubber packing covering the sensors. Carefully remove the sensors you want to change and replace with new ones. Replace the rubber packing and reinstall the sensor cover. Always calibrate the instrument after changing sensors. Change of sensors must be recorded in the instrument log. Battery change. The battery will give about 12 hours of operation when fully charged. 
Recharge the battery when the instrument indicates a low battery level. Make sure the instrument is turned off and turn it upside down. Carefully loosen the two screws and take off the battery lid. Replace the battery and fasten the two screws. Be careful not to over-tighten the screws. A change of batteries must be recorded in the instrument log. Internal filter change. Remove the battery pack and the internal filter is located at the end of the small yellow hose. With the small pliers, carefully twist the filter holder anti-clockwise. Replace the small filter inside the filter holder and reassemble carefully. Do not twist the filter holder too hard. Change of internal filter must be recorded in the instrument log. Change of carbon filter. Carefully unscrew the black circular cover with a coin or similar. Remove the two CO filters and replace with new ones and reassemble carefully. Change of carbon filter must be recorded in the instrument log. External service and repair. If the instrument is returned from external service or repair, this must be recorded in the instrument log. If a repair report or similar is enclosed, please file this in the instrument log section.